Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Esteemed Gentleman Podcast for Monday, July 11th. I'm your host, Scott Labrie, and joined alongside me, we have Uncle T-Bag, uh, Tyler, uh, Zunt. Uh, hello there. <laughs> <laughs> and all day, Eric DeShade. Hey, hello. How are you guys doing today? Great. Tremendous. 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 Stupendous. <laughs> stupendous. Hopefully good, yeah. Yep. Is stupendous good or bad? Stupendous is good. It's good. It's, is it like yeah. stupidly good? Is that why uh, that's where it like, um, comes from? It actually translates to extremely impressive. Mm. I'm extremely impressive. Because like, if you think about it, horrendous is bad. Mm-hmm. That's a horrible and mm-hmm. stupendous is good, but even that's stupid. It's very <laughs> stupid. <laughs> sure. Literally less Some, Somebody call Merriam Webster. <laughs> I want to make Someone call the Oxford and fix their shit. <laughs> Revisit this wording here. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we ever thought about making a second uh, definition? Mm-hmm. This word can be one thing or uh, the exact opposite. Uh-huh. Yep. That's the podcast. We'll talk to you on Wednesday. <laughs> yeah. See us. <laughs> Stupendous. Stupidly good. Stupidly good. Yeah. You're too stupid to realize it's a bad day. <clears throat> you're so happy. Mm-hmm. And positive. What's a, an obscure word that you use a lot? Indubitably. Oh. I like that one. Indubitably. A lot. Yeah. Indubitably. I can't even say that. I know, I know. It took me a while because I tripped over that word a few times, and then once I nailed it, I'm like, oh yeah, yeah. Sounds That's a good like word, a... though. Redundant is one I find I'm using redundant. more. And more. It's redundant. redundant. This is re- this is a redundant feature or a redundant way of doing things. Yeah. Yeah, I like. Uh, mm-hmm. I liked stamina when Trump used it. Stamina. Yeah, she doesn't have the stamina. Mm-hmm. When he was doing his election speeches, I'm like, stamina, I love that word. Just because he used it, I'm like, I got to use it all the time. It's so funny. It's so, yeah. Stamina. Hmm. Hmm. Trying to think what mine would be, but I don't know. I don't use them fancy words. I'm a blue collar kind of guy. Yeah. Simple simple man, yeah. (laughs) Simple needs. Man, I don't think of what you say. (laughs) <laughs> Man of the people. So what are some of the words that you say that stand out? I'm trying to think. I don't know. Yeah. Man, nothing's coming. Nothing's, nothing's really coming to mind. I know that when we have a few wobbly pops around the fire, you say some words that are, are hilarious. And I just can't remember what they are. That's the problem. I can't remember what they are. Often they're very loud and yelling at someone across the lawn, but it's still pretty funny. Yeah. 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 You say you pronounce words literally and make it funny. Like uh-huh. when we went to Smitty's and you were talking about, how about that game, Ass Assassin's Creed? <laughs> and I'm like, what game is it? I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? I'm like, oh, it's Assassin's Ass, Creed. Assassin's. Ass, Ass Assassin's Creed. Ass, Ass, Assassin's Creed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I do do that yeah. sometimes. Yeah, you correct. do that actually, actually mm-hmm. somewhat frequently. It's pretty funny. I like that. It's weird to pinpoint like what I do drunk, just besides yelling. Yeah, just yell a lot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you 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 your vocal octaves hit a lot more higher notes than yeah. when when you drink alcohol for sure. Yeah, act like a even dumb, though we're, act even like though a we're right beside you, we're right there. You still get louder for some reason. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you keep a very straight face, even though you're being like really like funny and playful but you keep like a super stern straight face the whole time which makes it like kind of scary and even more hilarious Uh because you're just so locked in like your character that you're choosing for the night and you're just like this is how i'm going about it (laughs) just being like a bully but like just joking about it i think Uh but it's like you don't know yeah you don't know Uh and you got some people that put on a penguin costume and become the next (laughs) villain of the party Mm-hmm. If you're listening, you know who you are, man. Commits, the, mm-hmm. commits violence, yeah. Commits violence. Mm-hmm. He chooses violence. He, cho- he woke up and chose violence that day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Never trust yeah. the penguin. Too many Michelob Ultras. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it'll do to you, man. <laughs> All that light, 16 screen filtered beers. 16 times filtered, whatever it is. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Do you find uh, like how like if you have different liquor, you get a different sort of d- way when you're drunk? Or is that a myth? I, I think know. it does happen, but I don't notice it. That's the thing. Like I'm, I'm sure if I would have saw like, oh, if I saw how I acted, I knew what I was drinking, then yeah. But I mean, I usually like, only stick to a couple of things. I really go yeah. something different, right? So I think yeah. the general outcome of your personality remains somewhat the same. Mm-hmm. It's just like if you're going to be sick doing it, depending on what you drink, well, might might yeah. be sick, and then you kind of might get grumpy because mm-hmm. you're sick, but you still have that same personality. Mm-hmm. I don't think it changes what kind of drunk you are. I don't think alcohol mm-hmm. actually does that, but like, I don't like, know. Uh, when I'm drinking rum, I'm a super happy, fun guy to be around. And I don't know. It's cost drinking vodka. It's going to be real depressing. <laughs> like, like, right. Later. Not like right. that. No, nobody's like that. Nothing. Yeah. Uh, nothing I noticed anyways. No, no. Yeah. Um, it I, might be I that way know, because oh, I, I just know when Tyler has too much to drink because Tyler gets it and Tyler becomes like a, I don't fucking care. Fuck you. I'm not fucking listening to you. more. forget Tyler's had a bit too much. Yeah. Yeah. Eric and I had a chat about that the other day. Yeah. <laughs> How I'm like intolerable when I get to that point. I'm like, really? oh, I, intoler- I appreciate yeah. your honesty, buddy. I yeah. asked Carly, I'm like, am I intolerable? She's like, you're really fucking annoying when you're that drunk. She's like, I wouldn't say intolerable. Like, it no, is still no. kind of funny because people laugh, but, like, but you yeah. are extremely annoying, especially when I direct it to like certain individuals where I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I also oh, find yeah. too, like when I know I'm getting under people's skin, that just empowers me even more, man. Like I just, I love that. I just absorb all the negative energy, and it just fuels me <laughs> to be even more annoying. See, I, I was gonna be like, I don't get, I don't see that, but then usually, like, if you're at that level, usually I'm at that level too. You're so. at that yeah, level too. And I find that you, you contribute a lot of that. Oh, yeah, I think, especially when I, I'm a bad fire, influence for sure. <laughs> I'm oh, like yeah. a pusher. <laughs> oh. Because the same night keeps coming back to the conversation when Carly and I talk about stuff like that. It's like when we had the Pink Whitney that night oh, at, yeah. when I lived in Elk Point. Yeah. And it was Mother's Day. I think it was Mother's Day. And you were talking about uh, Sheridan's mother there, like, and whatever, like, Happy Mother's Day to you or whatever. Like, you were just, like, being hilarious. Then we started drinking the Pink Whitney. As soon as midnight. Yeah. Hey, Happy Mother's and then, Day. Because we, we started mixing it. We were having Sprite or something with Seven it. Up, and then yeah. after... Yeah, and then after a while, it was just straight up in the cups. And then I was like, I threw up that night, I think, on my pillow. And I was like falling over everywhere. And I think that might be the night where I was just like, like Eric says, just intolerable, man. Like, it was just fucking mm. ridiculous. Like, Tyler, don't do that. I don't fucking care. Mm. It storms away and gets another, something else to burn. I'm like, oh, okay, fuck, well, yeah. here we go. When I was throwing the lead base painted the lead base furniture painted from the fire. shop yeah, from yeah. 1963. Yeah. <laughs> Goes the whole fucking asbestos and fucking lead paint fumes, just jet black roll clouds (laughs) filling up the whole yard. Tyler, take the cabinet off the fire. (laughs) Fuck you, it's my wood. Do what I want. (laughs) Uh, There's me on the side. More chaos, more chaos. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah, exactly. Do it. And then you got guys like Kent and don't be a bitch. Mm. I ain't no bitch. Let's do it. See, I've gotten a little bit more better about that calling you a bitch because it's like you know that's you, that's dangerous to you <laughs> that, that is, it is. It, yeah it is because i don't have the the intelligence to know that it's a really bad idea to do it it's like a pride <laughs> thing it's like oh, yeah i have to do it mm-hmm. yeah I like oh, you said the magic words i gotta do it now yeah <laughs> right yeah. it's like but uh, if i'm sober i'm like oh i guess i am oh well too bad i'm not doing it fuck you mm-hmm. guys it's like if calling uh, marty mcfly chicken Yep. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Dangerous. Mm-hmm. Dangerous. Mm-hmm. Which makes me excited for uh, Saturday night. Same. Mm-hmm. You know, it's been passed. If you're watching this, well, it's, I say it's it's over now officially. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah Technically, we're doing, yeah. A, we're doing a double header tonight. Mm-hmm. In anticipation. Yep. No way we'll be able to record on Sunday like yesterday. No if you're listening. So. Pretty sure that we're not feeling too great today. Pretty sure. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Pretty sure, yeah. Safe bet. Yeah. I always hate fucking... I don't know. 
Saturday night parties are, are you know, they're always fun. Parties are always fun, but it's like, where are the wishes? You know, Friday, because then you get that extra day to, to recuperate. Because yeah. you still get to spend your day enjoying yeah. your weekend. Mm-hmm. Instead of mm-hmm. spending your weekend recovering and then go back to work again. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I could just injure you, and then you don't have to go in. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Jeez, that was threatening all of a sudden. Oh, man. I could I just, you know, seed, I think a seed injury, just been planted. Injury, we you. need you out there Sunday night for a double header. Oh, god, <laughs> uh, that'd be good. Yeah, I'll definitely probably come out Sunday, but yeah, well, I don't think I'm gonna Spend stay. Night. Yeah, no, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't have my consultation. With the doctor till like two thirty ish, so I should be good. I should be all right. I should be up by then <laughs> to do that. Was it in Lloyd or where is it at? Actually, uh, it was supposed to be in Lloyd, but I said, "Is there any way that we could do this over the phone? Because there's no procedure. There's no oh, okay, nothing. Yeah, it's just yeah. like just a talk." I'm like, oh. "Just phone me. Just phone me. I can't afford a dollar eighty nine fucking no. ass to go up there and back and forth just to something that can be said over the phone. Come on." Mm-hmm. I got gas so. in uh, Vermilion the other day. It's like a dollar eighty four or something like that. It's like wow. Yeah, must be nice I to should... live here. <laughs> yeah, oh, I noticed today, which is Thursday, uh, it's like a dollar seventy three in town here, or $1. oh shit, something uh, oh, at shit. Uh, Petro Petro and Co op. So I heard it, it went down a bit. It went down a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's that's good. I uh, <laughs> read also read something on Facebook that. Uh, Oh, what's that guy's name? I'm going to mispronounce it. Jagmeet Singh, whatever. He's uh, trying. Did I? You did. Yeah. So he's trying to push for um, the government to give everybody $1,000 to deal with the rising costs of groceries and gas. Was that the uh, NDP leader? The NDP Mm -hmm. guy, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, All the TikToks and stuff. Super woke. The woke one. Yeah. Yeah, One of the younger ones, yeah. Yeah. Do that. I'll, I'll take a thousand bucks. <laughs> I'll take it. Yeah. Won't change my political view, but yeah, I'll take it for sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So that'd be mm-hmm. nice. I'm not sure mm-hmm. how much headway he made on that, but mm-hmm. it's funny. I was thinking about this, the politics and stuff like that and uh, how they take away so much stuff from their citizens. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what? We're going to help you guys. I will give you guys a thousand bucks. Just to whatever, but they've been mm-hmm. like overbilling mm-hmm. everything. It's just it's so funny. Mm-hmm. Say, oh, our government's so great; they're taking care of us. It's like ah, oh, you're all living in a simulation. <laughs> 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 they're lying to you, brother. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. but yeah. I'll take the money. Fuck yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> More war hammer. Whatever. Yep. Exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You guys can get one of those big guys. Mm-hmm. Like we could chip in and buy it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Spend oh. all on that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's ridiculous. I looked at I look at our shelf now and I'm just like, you know what I could have bought with all this? You don't have no you have any idea the possibilities of what I could have bought with all this. Mm-hmm. Blows my mind. But Carla and I have been playing almost every three third night now. So mm-hmm. it's uh and I uh, just joined a Discord of the hobby shop in, in Lloyd because I had to pick up another map because I forgot mine here when I went to dog sit in mm. because Carly and I played like a a two night and a half day match a big one a real big one it was fun jeepers yeah so I might I might possibly try going into a tournament maybe just to see Ooh. even though I'm not even though I'm not that good I would just want to go and play and play with people that have been playing for years and years and years. Just to learn more, but so I might, I might mm-hmm. do that. I'm still a little scared, though. I'm a little scared. Oh, of course, of course, yeah. But mm-hmm. yeah, Get your shit pushed in. Oh, yeah. oh, I don't care about that. It'd be like, okay, I'm gonna do this now. Your your guy can't do that. I'm like, oh, I've been doing that since I started. Oh, this changes everything. <laughs> Just get disqualified. Well, mm-hmm. technically, uh, you're not an inch away from cover, and this is not mm-hmm. obscuring. This is actually uh, a ruin. <laughs> mm-hmm. You can't do that. It's like. Fuck off. That kind of stuff is like, okay, dude, like, come on. Just flip the table or fuck you guys. Six grand yeah. on the floor. 
Oh, sorry, man. <laughs> Shit. My bad. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. 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 Oh, Warhammer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Scott, I got a backup army here. You can start playing this. <sighs> ready for you. It's ready for you. Pick it up. Give you the codex. You read about it. There you go. Try it out. You know what? I was going to say this a while ago, but huh. I probably could have gotten into the whole miniature thing. But like, why did you guys mm -hmm. pick Warhammer? Which one would you have picked? I don't know. I would have picked, uh, I don't even think like a regular Warhammer over 40k. I don't know. Oh, like, like uh, I just, Sigmar. yeah. The old stuff. I just hate the whole space, space marine stuff. The quote, Eric, it's all edgelord stuff to me. I don't know. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Right, these guys they got like super thick armor and they're genetic like super soldiers and they got chainsaw swords and they shoot guns like all right, yeah, fucking nerd. <laughs> <laughs> edge lords, they are, it totally is edge lord. It's like grim dark. Oh, it's absolutely. Like, it's, it's everybody grim dies. Dark. Everybody dies. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it is just like super depressing. There's like no super good, emo, no bad. Yeah. Space opera shit. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, mm -hmm. for sure. I mean, like, like even, like regular Warhammer. That's probably more a thing. Like, I like the fantasy look of it more, or like the yeah. I forgot like the Star Wars, like War, uh, Star Wars, uh, Star Wars, Star Wars, Star Wars. Wars. Whoa, hey! <laughs> I like to play Star Wars, please. <laughs> Star Wars collectibles, really? That's a thing. Yeah. Life size. Uh, yeah, life yeah. size collectibles. Yeah. Theme <laughs> for five dollars, adult version. <laughs> Choose your own adventure. Yeah, I think I think I own that VR game. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. Like, yeah, the was it Star Wars Armada? That's like the ship. One, yeah, and then there's the there's Star Wars Legion. The Legion, the other one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, like I would be, I would be Thanks. interested in. Yeah, I... for sure. Yeah, I wanted to buy that. Uh, like, there's there's a this the 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 three years. Uh. Clone Wars, the Rebellion, and the the future one, whatever the new ones, new ones called, I think, right? Like, I want to make, I want to get a clone, yeah. a clone trooper army is what I want to make. I'm like, I want us, I, I might do that, yeah. Oh really? And Unless see, I, I would it, be an it, Empire it, army for yeah. sure. Mm -hmm. I would love that. Darth I was thinking Vader. just getting those to paint them, but mm -hmm. oh, cool. mm -hmm. just yeah, it. that'd be awesome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That would be uh, a lot of fun. I think I would totally get into that. Yeah, I totally want to make like a paint the five hundred first, the white and the blue. Legion of clone troopers. I love that look. So yeah, do that. Mm -hmm. Star Wars Legion, fantasy flight games. How many different factions? Yeah, there's like know. four or five. Like there should be six. I thought only only four. I don't know if they're doing the new the new Star Wars. Uh, I gotta look into it here. Mm -hmm. The only, the only game I saw here. was the Empire vs Rebels. Until I'm playing on. Um, doesn't uh, doesn't like Fallout have a miniature game too? I thought they do. I think yeah. so. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they do. I would, I would love that too. Mm -hmm. I would be all over that. Mm. The Enclave, yeah. Fallout Three, that'd be cool. I remember uh, the NCR would be cool too. The NCR would be yeah. really fun. Yeah, or the um, What's oh, the, God. They called? who's the ones with the bombers? The guys that have oh. the big guns, they have missile launchers and shit. The fuck of name is that group? No, are they just the bombers? The bombers, aren't they? It might be. Yeah, yeah. Or, bo or boomers. Boomers. Yeah. Boomers. That's yeah. right. I think you're right. I think they, that's what they're yeah, called. The they're called boomers. Yeah. yeah. Pretty sure. Yeah, see the one, Kaisar's Legion. Kai the Kaisar Legionnaires. Oh, yeah, the Legionnaires. Yeah. 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 Praise yeah. be to Kaisar. Yeah. Ave. They always say Ave when yeah. they approach you. Yeah. Oh, the cons mm. too. Yeah. Oh, from Vegas. Oh, I gotta play those games again. Fuck, those yeah. were good games. Damn. Yeah. Man, yeah. New Vegas. Brother New Vegas. Steel. Yeah. Brother to Steel. Yeah. Mm. That's your Space Marines right there, man. Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. Big armor. Mm. Well, yep. Was there synthetics in New Vegas? Or was that no. a Fallout Four thing? That's Fallout Four. The That's synths. all Fallout Four, eh? Yeah. yeah, that was all mm -hmm. them. They were all in Boston. They were like their own faction mm -hmm. underground on the mm -hmm. city. Because mm -hmm. all, all yeah, MIT made them, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's the all MIT Boston. Guys yeah. All MIT, yeah. That is right. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, I wasn't yeah. sure if I wasn't because that was a big that was a big sort of point in Fallout Four. But I remember that New Vegas at all, so I figured that was no. the case. Do you get hints of no synthetics at all? Nothing like that. No, no, no. Come, that doesn't come up. No, no, I don't. I don't think so. Not that I remember. I, thought there I haven't was played the third maybe one. like like you kill a synth or something, but maybe not. I oh. can't. I can't remember. Like they weren't ever like. Things that talk there was a part, like, thing, but a campaign just to stick. I, I figured you'd probably have a hint of one or something that kind of hitting towards the kind of thing, but yeah, mm. right. It's been a long time mm-hmm. since I played New Vegas, mm-hmm. yeah. God, that's a good game, mm-hmm. yeah. That one's still my favorite, I think. I have all you know, good too, but... yeah, I think New Vegas might be. Well, I played the most of Fallout 4, I just mm-hmm. like the, the gun fights and stuff, mm-hmm. were so much better for me. and Mm-hmm. And cool. uh, I just I just couldn't get enough for that one. But uh, for story wise and choice wise and repercussions, like mm-hmm. New Vegas, hands down, had the best yeah. story. Mm-hmm. That was so cool, man. That was mm-hmm. you could be a real fucking piece of shit in that game, or you yeah. could like be super neutral. I thought that was cool. Like even like when you meet Mister House, like the five or six different endings you can come up with for that one too. Like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah, oh, so fun and like, oh well, yeah. the the. Kaisar and everybody else mm-hmm. fighting too. That was so cool, man. That was awesome. Yeah, New Vegas is probably the best. What one. Uh, what ending did you pick for that one? Do you always pick the one where you uh, let Mr. House live, or you kill Mr. House, or oh, I've always them all? destroyed him. I don't even know if I've actually chosen the ending where I let Mr. House do what he wanted to do. Mm-hmm. I don't think I have done that once yet. I don't think so, because then. I become, I, I take the role and I control the power and I decide where yeah. I'm going to divert the power to. And I've always gone and just went to his little incubation thing there and, and just mm-hmm. murdered him every time. Yeah, just hit him with a hammer. Yeah. Or, yeah. yeah. I just blast him. The tomb shows, up, the tomb comes up. It's like, oh, easy. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Shut up, old man. Yeah. The future is now, old man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, usually yeah. that's the way it goes. I mm-hmm. pick the. I want to play through it once. I want to go through it again. I should play through it again. You should yeah. do yourself yeah. a favor. Play that game. Mm-hmm. Very good stuff. Mm-hmm. Very good. Doesn't have the. The Lincoln repeater though. That was my favorite gun from Fallout mm-hmm. Three. Never played uh, three, so. I've only played three through once, I think, and that was it. Mm-hmm. And I vaguely, vaguely remember. I remember coming out of the vault. I thought the whole being a kid growing up, choosing everything, the school, all mm-hmm. that stuff was pretty cool in the bunker. And then mm-hmm. ventured out, and I vaguely remember freaking half the shit that I did in that one. Mm-hmm. Blow nope, up the town. Followed... Blow up Nuke Town. Or no, what, what's it called? A Nuke Town. Is that is it Megaton? Megaton is that the one? Yeah, yeah. Is that is that the one? I thought that was no. That's it's not New three. Vegas. Yeah. It is no, New three. Vegas. No, that's not New Vegas. That's, yeah, that's not that. One. That's Fallout Three. And then uh, the vault with all the Garys. That was New Vegas, right? Yes. Gary? Gary. 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 <laughs> yeah. That was a fucking weird-ass vault, man. Okay, that was New Vegas. Yeah, the third mm-hmm. one. Oh, it's the water you're trying to do, right? The water yeah, supply. Yeah, whether you... Uh, end game. Yes. And Liam Neeson oh, is yeah. your dad. Yes. Right? Yeah. That's right. Yes. Liam Neeson is the dad. dad. Mm-hmm. I totally did not... I remember that when I when I first played, I'm like, that was the selling point for me. <gasps> it's the guy from Taken. That's his dad. <laughs> I didn't even notice. I'm like, <laughs> oh, they got yeah. Ron Perlman for the ending. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> right you, here, you've been talking to Liam Neeson the whole time. <laughs> That's funny. Right. Yeah. It's like, what am I? I'm pretty sure it is. I'm gonna feel. I'm gonna feel really stupid if it's not. I'm double checking. It's all it's, of three. Like picturing his voice, it sounds right. No, I'm. I'm, sh- I'm sure it's him. Plus, he's not in there for very long, so... Yeah, Liam Neeson. Yes, and Malcolm McDowell was the voice of the Enclave. He was the bad oh. guy. He was the, like... I remember the, the Enclave had the power suits, just like the Brotherhood of Steel, but they mm-hmm. looked so much cooler. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Who else was in there? Nobody else too famous that I can recognize anyway. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Fallout three. Hey. I remember playing like New Vegas, and I was like, "Oh man, the Brotherhood of Steel from the first first game." Because like you know, you want to get their armor because it's the best armor in the whole game. Yeah. I was like, "Oh, I just want to 
get to the point where there's Brotherhood of Steel. Because I was like, is there Brotherhood of Steel in that game? Because you don't even know, really. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's like, oh, yeah, there he is. Like, finally find him, work my way inside. I was like, yeah, this is the best. And then it's like, and I was like trying to partner up with uh, the NCR at the time. The NCR just fucking shoots you on sight if they're if you're wearing their armor and stuff. Like, fuck, what? Yeah. This is stupid. <laughs> yep. Yep. No, it's cool. uh, it's pretty sweet, man. Yeah, that, all sweet. that faction stuff was cool. Mm-hmm. Yep. And I think you could do, like, missions to kind of get them on their side so that way you, you wouldn't, like, shoot at them, I believe. Yeah, you'd have to, like, do one for each one each time. You, yeah, because if you lean too much towards one, then it's you're pretty mm-hmm. much hooped, I think. Yeah. I don't think I've, I ever sided with uh, the Legion ever, because... I, I think I did. But I, in the end, I still always go back to just taking complete power and then just screwing them over in the end. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. They let me into the bunker get, um, with that little key or chip or whatever. You, so you go in there and you get the... I can't remember Ooh. what the fuck you... What's in that bunker? I can't even remember what the fuck was in there that you're trying to get into. Ah, I have to play it again. Who do you even hiding... fight like, if you're with the Legion? Cause, like, in the... Everybody. Like, everybody. Like, everybody's your enemy in there because like at the at the end of the game like that dude the the second command guy he's like the final boss he just like takes so many hits to fucking kill that guy oh with the big helmet yeah oh the first time i had to fight that guy man i died like i don't so know many how many times. times i was like what the fuck this guy's like invincible yeah <laughs> So he just runs up you <laughs> fucking swinging a sword and shit. It's like, yeah, one hit and he's I got the big helmet guy? and stuff and he's just like just a beast. I'm like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> he's like, oh my god. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That was fucking awesome. So mm-hmm. then uh the next time that I played it through, I made sure that my charisma was like at a hundred so that I could talk him down, and then he just walks away after. And then as he's walking away and he's getting really, really far away, then I just try and blast him so that when he turns around and comes at me again, I can fuck him up. <laughs> yeah. <his> shit after. <laughs> just a total scumbag. Yeah. And if I remember correctly, the other celebrity voiceover, I think, in New Vegas was um, uh, uh, that Mexican guy. He plays Raul, that ghoul. Uh, the fuck's his name? Oh, I don't know. I know. Uh, what's his name? Matthew Perry plays Benny. Benny, yeah, he's Benny. Um, he's always in the Robert Rodriguez movies. What the fuck's his name? You know who he is. God damn it. Oh, uh, me off. New Vegas. Uh, fuck me. Yeah, like, I mean, right? Like, how come? Danny Trejo? Danny Trejo. Oh! That's the voice of that guy that's in the station that's been there and is like, hey, yeah. Hoss, what's going on, Hoss? Oh, yeah, Hoss. Oh, yeah, sure. But he was, like, one of the best side characters, man. He was fucking awesome. He was a good, like, melee fighter and, like, super smart. He's like, a scientist, too. He could, like, unlock terminals and stuff and whatever. Like, he was just, like, yeah. And because that camp was taken over by a bunch of super mutants, he was locked in, like, a bunker. And you're looking for this this scientist for something on a side quest, I think. And then you find him down there, and he's, like, two or three hundred years old. He's a ghoul. And he's like, oh, I've been down here for fucking centuries, man. Uh, blah, blah, blah. It's just like, <laughs> I'm like, fuck, I recognize his voice. Who is this guy? I'm like, oh, fuck, that's Danny Trejo. Yeah. Good games, man. Oh, nostalgia. Wow. Hitting, hitting me hard. Big deep dive on Fallout. No kidding. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. And what we have, what we have what to look forward to now from them? Starfield? Starfield. That's yep. February, March, something like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Everybody's like, oh, it's just going to be Fallout in space. It's like, like okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm okay yeah. with that. <laughs> like, I'm okay. It, it, I'll wait till the first patch, but after that, I'm sure it'll be good. It'll be all right. Oh, yeah. Oh, At yeah. launch, might be a little, little janky. Yeah. I played oh, it. even like with Fallout 4, there were so many bugs. It was so oh. fucked. Yeah. But it never deterred me from playing mm-hmm. it because it was so much fun. Mm-hmm. Anyway, but, well, Skyrim, oh, go Skyrim 2, same thing, was so buggy. And I still oh, yeah. played through a bunch of it. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, so. And people are like, oh, they still have the, the Bethesda stair wars. It's like, cold dead eyes while you talk to an npc it's like yeah that's a little thing but i mean like it's you know, it looks all right i don't know if it's the creation engine again if it's the same engine from before if they made a whole new one now finally or yeah. they're still fucking frankensteining this old engine game engine for 20 years <laughs> yeah right. when did morrowind come out uh oh boy 
Original 2005, Xbox. I want to say. Original Xbox. 2006. Yeah. So, yeah. Since then. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah, because Oblivion was... Oh, I'm sorry. More when Oblivion was the one. That was Oblivion, the Oblivion, yeah. That was 360. Those, it was, yeah, that was 360, yeah. That was the first ever creation engine game, yeah. So, it's, yeah. yeah. Obsidian mm-hmm. and Bethesda need to work Obsidian. together. Well, yeah, I guess... Well, they're their own separate thing now, right? Yeah, yeah. they're their own separate thing. Well, they're they need to... all both owned by Xbox again, or Microsoft mm-hmm. now. But... Oh, right. They need to team up. Because mm-hmm. I loved Outer Worlds, but man, that was way too short. Yep, way was, too yeah. short, man. I know there's DLCs now, apparently. I haven't gone back to it, but... Me either. Mm-hmm. That was that was so good. Mm-hmm. Way too short, though. So if, if we got that game, that... that to have a polish with a Skyrim level of depth game, oh man, I would be playing mm-hmm. that daily. It'd oh, be man. nuts. Even though the graphics were yeah. a little cartoony, mm-hmm. I, I, I didn't, didn't I care. Didn't like, yeah. yeah, it was that that that, that fifties kind of pop art in space. I'm like, fuck yeah, this is awesome. Yeah. This is like, uh, yeah, yeah, I love and the Art Deco look of it. Yeah, but and all of your choices mm-hmm. had a completely different mm-hmm. fucking turnout every mm-hmm. single time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that was a great game. Missing like cool gear in that game too. Like I, I feel mm-hmm. like a lot of the like, stuff was the same. Like I, yeah, like, you. I wanted to like dress up as a. I mean, you didn't really get to see your character besides in the menu, but like, I wanted to like have the whole like space rogue kind of guy, like on solo looking thing. But it's like mm. you could never find any good gear that sucks. It's like well, you have all these clothes and stuff that give you like plus one to intelligence but it's like well you might as well be wearing the armor because otherwise you're just gonna get fucked out there yeah Yeah. exactly yeah yeah and then uh, i found too like at the end because when i was getting near the end i'm like oh this is opening up to a whole bunch of shit that's gonna happen like i can't wait to keep playing this and see where this goes i was like oh it's over i'm like oh what how is this over now I don't know. I don't know how many how many DLCs are there for that. I'm trying to remember know. what the plot. Two, is. I two or three. I thought. Yeah. Yeah, one was for the. One of them was like centered around those like moon moon guys, mm-hmm. right? Peril on Gorgon. Is sure. one of them, and then Murder on Eradinos is another one. Mm-hmm. There's two that I see here. But, yeah, I thought only a couple. Yeah. Those are words. Like. Yeah. <laughs> Nearly a year and a half since the Outer Worlds initial release we're going to, uh, finally arrived and blew me away. Oh, so I guess the DLCs are really good. Hmm. Might have to give her a Probably shot. Probably could play it there on Game Pass, I would imagine. So. I think yeah. so. I think it's on there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they have to do that. Yep. I think that was my first Game Pass game I ever played. Oh, I really? Remember, yeah. I was like, oh, shit. Pay twelve dollars and play this game, <laughs> mm-hmm. right? Booked. <laughs> yep. I think what the first ones I I downloaded. I think the first one I downloaded on there was was that Sunset Overdrive, and I'd already played it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, nope. I don't know what it is about that game, man. I don't know what the fuck it is. It's hilarious. It's so for hilarious. me. It was that uh, Left 4 Dead, which I don't think they've done shit since, have they? Damn. Oh, back for blood, man. Oh, back for blood. Oh, sorry, That's back for blood. One. Yeah. yeah, yeah, got that specifically. Yeah, so no, I don't think so. And more cards, <laughs> I think. <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah, yeah. Like that. I tried playing it on Xbox, and I can't use a controller with that. I'm like, holy man, I'm all over the place with this. I can't do it. You need uh-huh. a keyboard and mouse with that one. Yeah. Uh-huh. I'm way too fucking janky on it. Yeah. Well, uh-huh. any final thoughts before? Get out of here. Yeah. Hopefully I get over this hangover I'm surely having right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For sure. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully my first day back from my holidays wasn't too bad. Oh, yeah, it's going to be, gonna oh, be it's terrible. Gonna be, it's going to be awful. Yeah, I can just see it now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure I'm having a shitty day at work as well. Mm-hmm. <laughs> It is for certain. Uh, all right. Well, uh, if you're watching on YouTube, thank you so much. Like, subscribe, comment on the video. You can share it with your friend. 
And uh, if you're listening on a podcast service, you can leave us a rating and subscribe to that. And uh, head over to our Facebook page. Like the page, submit a question. You can submit a review. Did we decide? Is that what we're doing? Children of men? Sure. Let's do it. Children of men. Mm -hmm. Great movie. Great Can't wait to watch it again. It's been a long time since I've watched it. So. Ne I've never seen it, so I'm looking forward to watching it. Ooh. There are great things. Yeah, you don't like Edgelord stuff? Oh, this is Edgelord stuff, man. Oh, I didn't man. like it. I just didn't like the specific one thing. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. Edgelord. Dude, I play Raven Guard. I am the Edgelord. That's the ultimate Edgelord. Edgelord. <laughs> yeah. 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 Cool. So, uh, yeah, watch that movie. Get your reviews in, and we'll read cool. them. Uh, I can't do the math. It'd be not this Wednesday. It'd be next Wednesday. Yeah. Sure. July 20th. That's our next July movie 20th. club. Let's do it. So. All right. Adios. We'll talk to you Wednesday. Goodbye. Adios. See you guys.